unbelievable ladies and gents that is absolutely crazy this is the craziest thing i've ever seen and it's my fear as a cabin crew this is my worst nightmare to be honest with you hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel alex here and in today's video we're talking about an alaskan airlines incident a boeing 737 max had its door ripped apart in flight alaska airlines 7379 max mid cabin exit door separates in flight aircraft safely diverted back to portland and no injuries reported so First of all, there was no injuries reported, everybody survived, the aircraft landed safely, but this is a very interesting situation. Imagine you're flying on a plane and suddenly the door just comes off the plane. What about that? This event took place just now on the 5th of January. The plane took off from Portland and was bound for Ontario. The aircraft reached a maximum altitude of 16,300 feet and it diverted safely back to Portland, landing at 5.26 p.m., uh, reaching the gate at 5.30. The flight was carrying 171 passengers and six crew, and you can see right here the flight pattern. You can see exactly the pattern the aircraft took, including the uh, altitude. The aircraft was uh, reaching the altitude of 16,000, and then this incident happened, and then, of course, they had to uh, land as soon as possible. So an interesting fact on this 737 MAX, uh, Boeing includes a rear cabin exit door aft of the wings, but before the rear exit door. This is activated in the then seating configurations to meet evacuation requirements. The doors are not activated on Alaska Airlines aircraft and are permanently plugged. Why is that? Well, that is because Alaskan Airlines doesn't have so many passengers as the full capacity of the aircraft allows. So what that means is they don't need that extra door. So then they plug the door. That door is unusable. You will not see it from within the cabin and it's just part of the fuselage, basically. Yeah, so the door position in question is highlighted below inside the red circle. Another interesting fact about this aircraft, it's a new plane. It entered service, commercial service, on 11th November 2023. So just a couple of months ago. This is a new plane and then this happened. It has only 145 flights since then. Wow. Okay. Um, and in light of this event, obviously Alaska Airlines announces 7379 MAX grounding pending inspections. Um, you know, to be honest, 737 MAX is not really my favorite aircraft. As you guys know, it has an, a history of accidents. I believe there were two accidents um, because of the MCAS, which was a system on this particular plane. There were two big crashes that happened in previous years and Boeing had a lot of troubles because of it. And to be honest, I never flown on a 737 MAX. That's not because I was avoiding it, but because I never got the occasion. However, I wouldn't say I, will, I would be thrilled to be on this type of a plane. Definitely not. Um, anyways, nobody knows for sure what caused this. Maybe it's the aircraft fuselage, maybe it's a problem from the manufacturer, or maybe somebody tampered with that door, I don't know. Of course, there will be an inspection, an investigation rather. Alaska Airlines announced that it would ground its 7379 fleet pending inspections. So that means a fleet of 65 737 imagine the disruptions in operations due to this incident like the airport must be a mess all those people that booked flights they have to be redirected on different flights um, some of them they will lose the flights they will need reimbursement on their money it's it's crazy right it's crazy what's happening because of this incident and then other airlines as well they're grounding their 7379s for inspection you can see it right here after the plane reached its destination the seats are torn apart especially in the vicinity of this exit this exit was not supposed to be an exit if you can look at the panels on the left and right hand side you can see basically a part of the panel was removed you see the oxygen masks that are deployed the passengers have used those oxygen masks Fortunately, so I can just imagine the horrors of this uh, incident. Uh, look at this attachments right here, close to the door. This is where the door was latched on to the fuselage, 
through those attachments and they also ensure the cabin is pressurized. There's no air leak here. You can see another angle of the door right here. And yeah, this is the aircraft in question and this is how the door looks torn apart from the aircraft. You can see it in the picture right here. I will just zoom it in. So there is also some other attachments down here. Just crazy that this happened. You know, originally this aircraft wasn't meant to be so uh, long. It's been elongated throughout the years. The MAX is the longest version of this plane. Structurally, it was not meant to be so, as far as I know. That's why they had this MCAS systems to deal with the imbalances of this aircraft. So this is the footage from Jack of All Travels. Uh, look at this, ladies and gents. You can just see outside the ground and the plane try, uh, veering off on the left. Absolutely crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. You can see the masks deployed. People are wearing their masks right here. Yeah, Alaska Airlines flight forced to make emergency landing after window blows out in midair. Now, what happens in this kind of a situation is as soon as there is a rapid decompression, the pilots, they have to descend below 10,000 feet as fast as possible. So there'll be a rapid descent as soon as this incident happens. And of course, the passengers should be strapped with the seatbelts on and uh, the masks deployed. Now, um, some of the phones the passengers had have been blown out of this door. The pressure has to be equalized so then things will just fly out the window or rather fly out the door in this situation. Passengers t-shirt allegedly have flown out the door. Just uh, imagine the chaos. Imagine the chaos in that kind of a, an event. I'm gonna read some comments here on this Instagram post. On a brighter note, the night sky was beautiful. Well, yeah, but I'm not sure the passengers were really focused on the night sky at that very moment. Definitely they had other worries. Uh, better give that passenger lifetime air flights. <laughs> um, I work with airplanes all the time. This is definitely an exit row and somebody definitely had tamper with it. No way a plane would do this on its own. This is a very interesting take. So obviously it's all speculation at this point. You cannot really say something for sure. You cannot even blame uh, Boeing, you cannot even blame somebody that has tampered with it because it's an ongoing investigation. Those things will eventually surface out and a probable cause will be identified. Um, this uh, Instagram comment, everybody was too calm. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. We want that on those kind of events. Obviously, I'm sure people were afraid for their life and so on and so forth. So it's good that people stayed calm. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll stop reading. I'll stop reading this. Uh, it's kind of like driving a Jeep with no doors, just 30,000 feet higher. Well, it was not 30,000 feet. It's, it was actually a maximum of 16,300. And that played an important role because if it was any higher, uh, the descent had, had to take so much longer time. And also the pressure would have been much higher, so way more uncomfortable for the passengers. And this is a case of rapid decompression, as I said before. And as a flight attendant myself, we learned how to deal with events like this. Now, crazy event, ladies and gents. And with this occasion, we can talk a little bit about something called rapid decompression. This was the case in this incident. It was the loss of a cabin door. Uh, another type of rapid decompression can occur during an explosion or a fuselage rupture kind of event. And of course, the pilots, they have to start uh, emergency descent as soon as possible after that. Now, some signs of this happening, some signs of a rapid decompression would be, first of all, there'll be a loud bang in the vicinity of the opening. So wherever there's a rupture or cabin door missing, it's going to be a loud bang, a loud noise, a rush of air from the outside. The cabin will be crazy, right? Debris will be flying. Um, as you guys know, the phones from the passengers' hands were sucked out of the plane. Loose objects everywhere, basically mayhem, right? 
There will be fog in the cabin that lasts for a few seconds, of course because of hot air mixing with the cold air from outside, if that makes any sense. A rapid drop in cabin temperature, it's going to get really really cold there. The fastened seatbelt sign will come on automatically in case of decompression, that's a given. Usually depending on the plane, but I think most planes they have this, the cabin lights will turn on on full brightness so everybody in the cabin can see what's happening, so you are aware of your surroundings that's basically the cause and then generally there's a public announcement a PA broadcasted um, that tells you to don the nearest oxygen mask by that point of course the oxygen masks will all be dropping from the ceiling now the most important thing something that also is said in every safety video before you depart. Before taking off, every airline has on display a safety video, or rather the cabin crew doing the safety demonstration. If you pay attention to that, there is stipulated you should don your nearest oxygen mask and then only afterwards you can help uh, your siblings or your fellow travelers. That's a basic rule in aviation, you need to help yourself first and only afterwards you can help others. Also, in case of rapid decompression, some objects in the cabin, due to the vacuum created, can become projectiles. Now, it was not the case here because it was still 16,000 feet, so the vacuum was not so rapid, not so crazy. If it was 30,000 feet, it's a different story. I, I think it's a different story because it's a different pressure, different altitude, right? Debris will fly around the cabin regardless and then dust particles can limit visibility as well. Also one interesting fact, it's gonna be noisy. It's gonna be noisy in the cabin when that happens. As a passenger or as a crew in that aircraft cabin, you can experience signs and symptoms of hypoxia. What is hypoxia? It generally occurs when your brain lacks oxygen. You kind of become numb. You kind of become numb, you lose your cognitive function due to the lack of oxygen. It's very, very, very dangerous. It's very dangerous and all the cabin crew and pilots are trained to kind of identify the early signs of hypoxia. Because if we have hypoxia as crew, then we kind of become useless. We become flying vegetables. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be also decompression sickness, difficulty in breathing and speaking because air is sucked out of the lungs. Uh, cold sensation and sinuses, ears may feel full momentarily. That happens after that loud bang, after uh, the pressure starts being equalized. So yeah, this will cause panic in the cabin. That's for sure. Panic, people will be shocked. They will not know what's happening. And in this situation, I'm really happy that everybody was okay at the end of the flight. Yeah, absolutely crazy. This is actually my worst nightmare. One of my worst nightmares as a cabin crew. It's really a dangerous situation. And imagine if that at very moment you don't have your seatbelt on and you're near to that uh, rupture in the fuselage or near that missing cabin door well, you'll be flying out. So yeah, extremely dangerous. That's why we as cabin crew, we always tell you, have your seatbelt on regardless of the seatbelt sign. Just have it on for the cruising of the flight. Now, ladies and gents, I will um, I will kind of end the video here. Please let me know what do you think about this event in the comment section down below. Uh, I hope I will never experience this in my flights and I hope none of you viewers will experience this as well. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Let me know in the comment section as well if you like this type of videos about aviation incidents. Until next time, bye-bye.